Okay, welcome everyone to this continuation of what are my favorite fields, my favorite theorems, whatever you want to call it. A very biased collection. What else could it be? Um, here's a field that is has been around for quite a while. And it somewhat goes under the umbrella of universal algebra. But I like to pick it out as an own subfield because it essentially studies some form of um, orders, lattices, something like that. It's a very algebraic type of field. And it's kind of cute, and yeah, the kind of point is that it's kind of very general, as I said, point part of universal algebra, and that means that it's usually applicable to many situations. But well, let's have a look first uh, where everything comes from. So universal algebra, or order theory as part of universal algebra, comes essentially from computers. So if you're watching this right now, you probably have some computer, whether it's a phone or an iPad or a laptop or whatever, you have some form of device uh, watching this video, I guess. Um, and it all came from, well, kind of an idea that goes back a long, long time ago, uh, where people studying kind of the mass of two-folds logic. And, well, that's kind of what a computer really likes. And it goes under the name of a Boolean algebra. So the Boolean algebra is like this end or so this is like the end x and y is like the intersection x or y is well, the union and this is like the complement like not kind of the, the the algebra that you can cook up from those symbols is like the usual uh, boolean algebra and order theory is a subset of universal algebra that focuses on order relations so in this case you could say something like uh, yeah x and y is smaller than x. Uh, that's kind of justified by this picture. And uh, it would also be smaller than y, but anyway. And x uh, or y is bigger than x. So x or y is bigger than x, right? So that's kind of the, 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 kind of the type of order logic we have here uh, on Boolean algebra. And order theory somewhat studies this type of orders in kind of generality or so kind of try to list orders or something like that. For example, here's a nice order um, in form of a Hasse diagram, the divisors of 60. So let's say uh, x is smaller or equal to y if x divides y. And you just draw an edge between them if there's nothing in between. So one of course divides 60, um, but there are many things in between. So one divides two, one divides three, one divides five, so you draw an edge between them and so on and so on. And you get this nice type of order type picture. Yeah? And as a reminder, an order would be something that satisfies A is smaller than A. Well, it's kind of a boring thing. But anyway, uh, transitivity is an interesting one. Anti-symmetry is not very exciting. So if A is smaller than B and B is smaller than A, then A equals B. Yeah, that's kind of. And the transitivity is like the real important one. Something like one is smaller than two. Uh, 2 is smaller than 6, which implies that 1 is smaller than 6. Like, uh, this is like the transitivity, right? So that's what it is, and it of course works in this example. And the Hasse diagram is kind of the name of the structure you see here. Let me just get rid of all the decorations. The Hasse diagram, um, maybe, yeah. The Hasse diagram here is just a nice illustration how an order works. And an order in this sense is then a geometric object in a certain type of sense. Uh, as you can see here, you have some, two, two some nice, what is it, cubes uh, meshed together. And it's kind of a really nice illustration about the devices of 60. And people saw that a long time ago and came up with this idea of studying certain types of orders that are kind of nice in a certain geometric sense and called them lattices. So a lattice is a partial ordered set. So this was just this partial ordered set here, uh, like the divisors of 60, such that you always have a meet and a join, a lowest common divisor and a greatest common multiple. So again, this illustration above uh, n squared, so 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, and so on, ordered component-wise. And for example, uh, the if those are my, let's say, a and b, uh, then this guy here is a, the, the, the meet, so A, uh, V, B, 
uh, so like in like in this picture the bigger one and the bottom one is a wedge P and then you have this of course now exists everywhere so if you have picked two points what's the, let's say this one and this one then here's the wedge and here's the meat and so on and so on so you can always find the wedges in the meat and that's why this is a lattice so a lattice is kind of a nice geometric structure that people uh, tend to study here's another lattice which i will draw live now the lattice on n squared with lexicographical order which really means you just look at the first component and then at the second component so it will look like this you have zero zero and then the next one is one zero uh and the next one is two zero and then the next one is whatever and it goes all the way to infinity and eventually you plop over to zero one then you have one one and whatever and then you infinitely many in between the next one would be zero two and so on and so on so it's a, it's a line now but the line has those infinite breakpoints uh, in between this would be another lattice structure on n squared which is like very different from the lattice you see uh, right now right hopefully it makes sense so you kind of lexicographically ordered gives you a little bit different uh, a very different actually lattice than the lattice uh, of component ordering kind of the point of order theory is to study uh, those various lattices or types of structures uh, like lattices so here's one of my favorite lattices this is, it's, it's called the tamari lattice uh, it has a certain size the size is given by the catalan numbers uh, one of those funny numbers that are not quite obvious why they should show up everywhere but they do show up everywhere like a sequence like two to the n okay we can all probably believe that two to the n will probably show up quite often um, but the Catalan numbers is a much more sophisticated sequence, which still shows up in a lot of places. For example, here for our Tamari lattice, which is just a grouping of L element, N elements, and the order relation is you can apply an associativity. So right, if you could start here with A, B, C, and then you can apply A, B, C, and you just prefer one over the other, make one of them bigger than the other side, and you get this nice uh, little lattice picture that you see here um, in the background where you start with a lot of bracketings and then you kind of can reverse the bracketings uh, stepwise. And kind of the fun here is that, and this is kind of where all the theory, theory comes in, you can kind of study this lattice for its lattice which has certain properties um, and then you realize, oh, it actually turns up everywhere in mathematics, uh, which is kind of the point of um, the lattice theory, right? so, uh, order theory. So you have some general setting and you have things showing up in quite some uh, generality. For example, here, our little uh, friend, the Tamari lattice, has another inter interpretation in terms of trees, uh, something like this. So this is the bottom vertex where you can just read all the bracketing. So A, B, C, D, E, and is now bracketed like as follows. So A, B, and then C, D, and then D, and whatever, and then E last, and whatever. If you pick out something else, uh, maybe this guy here will look like uh, this. What is it? This, and this, and this, and this. And then it would have whatever, A, B, you put a bracket around them. You have C, D, you put a bracket around them. You have E, and you put a bracket around here. And this little, uh, little tree move, that does the following, oh, this is a bad picture, the little tree move that does uh, the following, this equals to this is then the thing that connects the various vertices, and yeah, so this uh, more geometric type object, if you want, where you have trees and you have a relation on trees, a rotation of binary trees, what is usually called, is the same type of structure, uh, and you could study those structures using these ideas from um from order theory and order theory is kind of studies general like type of order type structures and there are kind of many of them and they appear everywhere in mathematics and that's what it makes it kind of very tempting it's kind of a very clean field um and kind of studies very basic structures which is very good in the sense that they will appear everywhere in mathematics anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and i also hope to see you next time